For this video of the Beacon Hill dollhouse construction, I'm going to go over the interior paneling. I knew that I wanted to create some sort of paneling effect in the house, so I experimented with different ways to create the panels. I saved all the pop-outs from the windows which could be used as raised panels, and I painted all the pieces believing that I could integrate these in the house However, ultimately, I did not use any of them. I started working on the wall next to the second floor staircase. I did not want to paint next to the stairs since I thought this would be difficult to work around the treads. So, I started experimenting with the panels to cover the wall. I cut out the triangular shaped panel back from a plastic binder. I create a framing effect around the raised panels but decided to discard the raised panels and go with the board and batten type panel. Aside from the additional top panel, this would be the design used in the entire house. Wood stir sticks were used as the boards for the panels. I spray painted the stir sticks that would be available for assembly. As the panels were being constructed, I only chose the straightest sticks to be used. Many were curved and had defects that made them less desirable. I decided that it would be nice to bring the panel right on up to the third floor, so I designed the panels to continue through the stairwell wall. The plastic binder was cut to fit the area, and the panel backs were painted in the semi-gloss white paint. As a note, this type of paint does not bond well to the slick plastic. It might have been better to first prime the surface before applying the semi-gloss paint. This peeled away from the surface and had to be spot painted in several areas. I temporarily attached the boards to the panel with poster tack, then bonded this with tacky glue. Some pieces were not glued in place until after the panels were attached to the walls. This enabled me to bend the panels while getting it positioned in the stairwell. Clothespins were useful to hold the sticks in place while the glue was drying. Once a panel was constructed, I applied an additional coat of spray paint. This helped to make the panel more uniform and gave it a refined finish. I glued the panels to the wall using Elmer's white glue. The previously unglued boards that covered the seams of the plastic panels were attached once the panel was in place. I used bags of dry goods that were wedged in the stairwell to hold the panels in place while the glue was drying. Clothespins were used to make a snug hold to the wall in strategic locations. To give the stair landings a completed, uniform look, I continued the paneling on the opposite wall to the stairs. This was generally easier than working around the stairs. I will discuss the other decorating details in another video, but I did have to complete the wallpapering and painting before the panels were completely installed. In addition, the baseboards and door frames were installed before some of the panels could be built and attached. After the panels were installed, I decided to add a shelf detail using the same balsa wood as the baseboards and an under support piece created from a skewer. These were painted with the white spray paint. I then created the panels that go from the first floor to the second floor stairwell. I started by fitting a paper version of the panel and got this to work in the tight area. I experimented with star sticks to find a pleasing layout for the panels that made sense with respect to the panel transitions. This was transferred to the plastic binder and painted in the semi-gloss white. The stir sticks were attached to the panels and were treated with a final coat of spray paint. The panels were then installed from the second floor to the first floor in a similar manner as the upper stairs. The opposing stairwell walls were also paneled and the shelf detail added. Additional videos will describe the completion of the interior rooms.
Thanks for watching.